Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the properties of the diagonals of a rhombus. So we have four properties. Number one, the, the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. Number two, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. Number three, every diagonals of a rhombus bisect its opposite angles. And number four, each diagonal divides the rhombus into two congruent isosceles triangle. Now, let us uh, prove our property number one, the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. So, to prove, we have our statements and reasons. So, given rhombus L, M, N, O with diagonals L, N and M, O. LN and MO. Prove LN is congruent to LN is congruent to NE and okay, this should be LE. LE is congruent to NE and ME is congruent to OE. Okay. That is LE. Now of course, to write the statement and prove, write all the given first as our statement and reason. So, we have rhombus L, M, N, O with diagonals L, N, and M, O. Okay. Reason that is given. Second, we know that by definition of rhombus, LM is congruent to ON. ON. Our reason, definition of rhombus. Third, we know that the two sides are parallel and we have here intersecting line. So we can use the definition and properties of parallel lines. So LMO angle LMO is congruent to N O M angle N O M that is by um, alternate interior angles are congruent. So the same case in M L N is congruent to L and O. Okay. Angle L and O. That is alternate interior angles. Are congruent. And number four, notice that we have angle side angle. Angle side angle. So triangle triangle L M E is congruent to triangle N O E N O E that is by angle side angle postulate and fifth L E is congruent to NE and ME is congruent to OE that is by CPCTC congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent so that is on how to prove our first property diagonals of a rhombus by set each other now let's apply the remaining properties as our examples now let's have our example number two. 
Quadrilateral UVWX is a rhombus. Find the measure of angle X. So we have here rhombus UVWX. The measure of angle U is 70 degrees and the measure of angle X is 24X plus 6 degrees. So we know that consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So if we're going to add the measure of angle U plus measure of angle X, that is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, of course, we can apply the properties of parallelogram to our rhombus because a rhombus is always a parallelogram. So, 78 degrees, the substitute, plus 24x plus 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Or we can simply remove the degrees. Now, combine like terms, 24x, 78 plus 6, that is 84 is equal to 180. 24x is equal to 180 minus 84. Now we have 24x is equal to 180 minus 84, that is 96. Divide by 24, 24. So our x now is 96 divided by 24, that is 4. Okay, let us check. 24 times 4, so 6 carry 1, 8, 9, 6, okay. So 96. Now we're going to find angle x. So measure of angle x is equal to 24x plus 6. So 24 the substitute the value of x, which is 4, plus 6, so we have 24 times 4, that is 96, plus 6, that will give us 102 degrees. That is the measure of angle x. Okay. Let's have our example number 3. Now let's have our example number 3. Quadrilateral JKLM is a rhombus. K of J K L M. The measure of angle K L J, K L J, and M L J, M L J, are eight x plus seven and ten x minus five respectively. So eight x plus seven and ten x minus five. Find the measure of angle K L J and K L M. Okay. We know that property number three of diagonals of a rhombus bisect the angle. So that means this angle is equal to the other angle. Now we have measure angle K L J is congruent to measure angle M L J. Okay. K L J that measures 8x plus 7 is equal to M L J 10x minus 5. Solve for x. So we have 8x minus 10x is equal to negative 5 minus 7. So negative 2x is equal to negative 12. Divide by negative 2, x is equal to 6. We're going to find the measure of KLJ. Measure angle KLJ. KLJ is 8x plus 7. 8 times x is 6 plus 7. 8 times 6, so 8, 16, 24, times 2, 48, plus 7, that is 55 degrees. Now, KLM, KLM. So, there are two ways to find the measure of KLM. The easiest one is, you just need to multiply by 2 the measure of K. 
KLJ. So times two. So measure angle KLM is 55 times two. That is 110 degrees. Or if you want, substitute the given value. So we have 10 times 6 minus 5 plus 8 times 6 plus 7. So 10 times 6, that is 60 minus 5 plus 8 times 6, 48 plus 7. So this is 55 plus 55 that is 110 degrees okay. they are the same so that is the properties of the diagonals of the rhombus thank you for watching senior pablo tv